All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Bit of an overcast day today out here. I'm gonna go slap some curbs and then probably hit savers because I need to buy some. I need to buy some more clothes. I've been running out of clothing. So yeah, that's a plan for this video. We're gonna go slap some curbs, which I'm gonna have to go discover and hunt, find some curbs around here. Shouts out to everybody helping me get to 25,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you very, very much. I just want to keep going upwards. Um. Yeah, I'll talk a little bit more later, but for now, let's just go find a red curb spot that I can skate. So I got a general feeling I'm just gonna find crust out here, but I found this red curb. It looks pretty dry. I don't think anyone's hit it, but let's have a look. This little spot here behind this building, this structure. Um, yeah, as you can see, I don't think this has ever been skated. I think it was a normal curb and they just slapped on the red paint, which of course makes sense because that's how any red curb comes about. But yeah, it's obviously unskated and it's dry as a nun's nasties. So I didn't bring any wax, stupidly enough. But the, I seen another little spot around the corner here. It's like a planter type ledge that you can tell has been skated because it's like super black. You can tell it's waxed up. So I might try to get some slappies on this thing and then I'll move on to the planter ledge and then see what the day brings this overcast day in Southern California. Slowly getting this curb broken in. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come back here at night with a little bit of clear lacquer. I'm gonna come back at night with some clear enamel and then I'm gonna like butter up this curb. It's actually not a bad spot, it's super low key, no one's here. And it's just like a red curb. The ground is smooth enough, so yeah, I might do that. I pretty much did everything I could do on a curb. I mean, I learned slappy blunts once. I gotta I gotta revisit them because Kind of forgot how to do them. But look how vast it is out here. There's just open fields and mountains over there. Once I get the YZ all together, the YZ125, it's gonna be over. I'm gonna be ripping out here. I'm gonna turn this from Merino Valley to Macquarie Fields like that on the YZ. Found this little bike rack thing. Really wanted to ollie through it. My board can fit, but um, yeah, my feet, it's another, another story. I don't know if that would be possible. It would be sick though. Why is this loose? Why does this need to be loose right now? Look at this guys. Merino Valley where they supply the DIY stuff for you. Someone's yanked that out of the ground. It's a, if it's blue, I, I believe it's a disabled parking spot. But it's pretty jacked up anyway. You'd have to like really render this to get it to smoothly slide or grind I think. I don't think I've ever seen a green curb before. I could be lying, but I don't think I've ever seen a green curb, this green like this. This is what we call an Irish curb, these green curbs. So like I said, I don't have any wax today. Amateur mistake. I'm gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby, get some wax after this maybe, if I have time. But check out this planter ledge. This looks like it's been well hit and it's in a quiet spot. You've got this side here and the other side there. And you can come in from this way and then it kind of goes out onto the footpath here. Landing's pretty how you going. All those cracks and stuff, but it's uh, pretty quiet here. Maybe I could get a trick on this. Maybe. I found some wax here in this planter bed thing. Um, it goes, but it could probably deal with another little bit of, of push, you know. A little bit of a, oh, look at that. That's like worn down. Um, I'm gonna try to front tail it, hopefully. I just gotta give it a bit of that butter and then hopefully it all comes together, you know? Luckily enough, I'd be coming this way and then hopping on, because there's like a gnarly crack here from all the earthquakes in Southern California from the uh, San Andreas Fault. This has happened. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it happened, but there's a crack there, so I'm gonna try front tail it coming this way and then roll off the curb here. And hopefully it looks cool.
Oh shit, here comes the uh, sunshine that would have been nice this morning, but better late than never. I wore a beanie today because I thought it was going to be overcast and cold, now it's warming up, so I think I got a spare hat in the car. Look at this spot, how like low key is this spot? Literally in the middle of nowhere, it's a vacant storefront here and there's a planter ledge. I feel like Dan would really appreciate skating here. Maybe next time he comes out and skates Riverside, I can bring him here because I reckon he could do some crazy shit on this planter ledge. It's very aesthetic too, it's like, I don't know, it just looks like something you would see in like skate theory or something. Really wanted to get this front lip pop out on this planter ledge but it's extremely short like by the time, I was like creeping, by the time you get on you're like picking up speed and then I kept like twonking my ankle on this because my board would just hit and my ankle would like stop so I don't want to hurt my ankle again so I'm going to call it on this front lip but I got up there a few goes I feel like if it was like twice the length it, it would be possible imagine if it like went all the way out to the curb and you could like get on and like pop off into the road here that'd be sick I'm not trying to put on airs or anything but Merino Valley low key has some spots like if you gave a shit enough about this spot oh it looks like people have hit it already look there's some uh, wax residue or something. I feel like if you gave a bit, if you gave a shit about this spot enough, you could like rub brick the shit out of this and then clear coat it and it'd be like a sick. I reckon Dan could probably slap you on and go up and then hop off. But even if you were to come skating down here and then like ollie on if it was smooth enough, you'd be able to like pop out of that little bit of lift there. Check it out. Look at this spot. No one would harass you either because we're just in an industrial area but there is a big fire hydrant thing i'd be like worried about falling onto this as my back and landing with this on my spine or something but yeah fun little spot even though i haven't skated it but it looks fun how's this for a culture shock for some reason in the states like if you're crossing a road or walking through a car park at a grocery center or something cars will stop and like let you like walk Literally, they'll come to a stop and they'll let you walk in front of the car to cross over. <laughs> I don't know if I've spoken about this before, but in Australia, if you're crossing the road, you better be quick because cars will speed up to like zip by you quickly. I don't know if that's just a social thing down under, but I've always grown up knowing that like when you're crossing the road, like you don't like take your time, like you get right across the road. But uh, <laughs> even in like Target, the car park at Target, I'll be walking and a car will stop and I'll like quickly jog across the road and like wave to say thank you. Because in Australia, even in a car park, you need to get out of the way and they'll, uh, they'll speed up and zip by you. <laughs> I don't know if that, it seems rude now, but that's just how it is in Australia. So I'm pretty much done skating for today. Um, I'm gonna head into Sabres. Hopefully I can pick up some button ups and stuff. I know it's late in the day, it's, it's like two or three o'clock, but I know they get the drops like Tuesday morning or something. So maybe I might find some stuff um yeah <laughs> fun little session i wish i got that front lip maybe if i find another planter ledge that's similar to that i could do it because uh i've been really liking the old pop over pop out type of board slide situation <laughs> just put up to saviors at riverside haven't been here in many many years I'm gonna try to make it quick i'm just gonna try to be in and out hopefully scope some stuff get some stuff I really want a root beer float, so I want to make it quick. Because I want to go to plant power and get a root beer float. 30 seconds in, found this grey shirt with a USA flag. It's uh, five bucks, it's a large. I'm probably going to cop this, it's pretty thick. The material is pretty thick, so good for skating. And I like, I like USA flags. Got this super sick Ralph Lauren long sleeve, but it's, uh, it's a big mounting, big shirt. So it's not gonna fit me, but I'll probably cop that if it was my size. Well, that wasn't that great. A lot of selection, but a lot of rubbish. So much rubbish. Some some of the t-shirts are like, just donated in to make it a bag of rags. I don't know why you wanna sell it for $2 when it's like terrible, but yeah. Um, all I copped was that USA t-shirt. Trying to cop some jeans, but nothing good in my size 
There's no cool hats. Not a good selection of shoes. There's a lot of running shoes, but obviously I don't do much running. And I have TNs anyway, so I literally have the best running shoe you can ask for. Got my root beer float, and I have my chicken tenders and my vegan honey mustard. Look at these dogs. Look at it. Like a little submarine. Get a bit of that honey mustard on there. Bone apple teeth. Usually when I come here, I get a burger, chicken tenders, and a root beer float, but it ends up being like 25 US dollars. And I'm like, it's too much money to be spending on a, like a, a fast food meal, you know, 25 bucks. So I've cut it down to just chicken tenders and the root beer float, because that's the most important part of the meal. This is the last one. I've smashed through two of them already. This is just too good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I tried the KFC Vegan Beyond Chicken. Terrible. It felt like cardboard in my mouth. Really hard to chew. It was nothing like this. This is like the ultimate vegan chicken at Plant Power. I wanted to have a quick chat with you guys because I've had a, quite a few epiphanies. I'm trying to have way more energy and show more personality in these videos because I feel like that's the only thing that's going to kind of separate me from the rest is my own sense of personality and humor. Otherwise, I'm just another skateboard YouTuber here in California, which is fine. I, 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 this is what I wanted back in Australia. I wanted to be over here and I wanted to be around the people that I've been around skating and making videos and stuff. So I'm super grateful, but I just want to go to the next level here. So I really need to start paying more attention and energy into what I'm doing with this whole thing. I can like, just like aimlessly just go out and skate and make video after video after video. But I feel like if I'm not putting the right energy and attention into each video, I feel like I'm not doing it justice you know what i mean i don't want to just half-ass it because i've come too far to half-ass it and i've come too far to not accomplish what i'm trying to accomplish here so yeah i'm trying to be more of myself in these videos which is hard because naturally i'm pretty introverted as you guys would know but <laughs> i don't know i feel like i feel like i have a lot of hidden energy and humor that I don't really show because I'm so used to like not portraying myself that way because I was an only child so I didn't have like siblings to play with and stuff so I'd kind of make my own fun and I feel like that kind of carries on into my life until now I'm still making my own fun we just had some fun skating today and trying to thrift if you guys watch the whole video so yeah that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to be more personable and humorous and energetic in these videos because yeah i am here in california skateboarding which is a privilege don't get me wrong it is a massive privilege to be able to be here skateboarding in california i feel like i'm just babbling on i don't want to babble on. i'm just trying to get the, the point across to you guys but yeah i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be making more videos i'm kind of i'm going to be trying to skate more too as i always am and the police just rolled in. Make sure you go on over to eveningmob.com, pick up a tote bag or a t-shirt or something. Go and buy stuff for my brand. Cheers for watching the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. On your way back, bring me his son. On your